apa-apa. Welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Carrie. Um, this little girl was just pulled from a shelter probably just a couple hours ago. I just was walking through and they asked me to look in the back room um, of the dogs that are going to be euthanized for health concerns and I saw her. She, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> She's got so many things wrong. Um, the first thing that jumps right out at me is that She's got serious eye issues. So this eye is really cloudy and goopy. We're going to look at these more under anesthesia. See the fleas as well. And this eye looks like it's just gone, like it's ruptured who knows how long ago. Um, also looking at her gums, I know she's really scared I'm going to touch her eye. Also looking at her gums, they're very pale. So they should be a lot pinker than that. Um, and she's covered in fleas. They're just everywhere all over her. She's covered in fleas and very, very thin. I can feel her ribs and her spine very easily. The um, thing that's concerning is she looks like she had an owner recently because somebody shaved some mats out of her somehow. Um, the other issue, you know, she's got mats on her. She looks like she's had plenty of puppies in the, in the past. Look at all those fleas. Oh my gosh. Tons of fleas on her and tons of mats. So we're going to start with some basic stuff. We're going to give her something to get rid of those fleas. We're going to give her a bath. Um, we're going to get some blood work going to see how anemic she is and some other systemic problems she might have. And we're definitely going to need to take that eye out. We're going to schedule her for surgery almost immediately. And then we're also going to um, shave her down while she's under. So lots of things going on with her, but we're going to go ahead and get started now so she doesn't have to be painful anymore. So we are looking at the blood work for Sasha. Um, we're calling her now. She is super anemic, way lower than I thought. Her hematocrit here is 12.6. It should be 30 to 40. So... Um, we're kind of, and she's got high white blood cells from that infection in her eye. So basically at this point what we're trying to do is to decide is it safe to take her to surgery or not. We need to get that eye out of there because it's infected. It's causing her body um, to have a systemic infection and it's painful. But at the same time we don't want her to die from surgery because she's super anemic. So the solution is blood transfusion. Bolt, are you ready? This is my dog Bolt, and so we're going to get some blood from him um, and give her a little blood transfusion preoperatively. So little Sasha's here now, and she is getting some of Bolt's magic blood that's going to replenish her body and make her safe for surgery so we can take out that eye pretty quickly here. Um, you can see here's his blood. We're giving it to her kind of at a slow rate at first to just to make sure she does okay with it and she doesn't have any reactions. So, so far so good. Um, and then as soon as we are done, we're going to take her to surgery. We are just working on shaking her down. We got several people working at the same time so we can minimize the length of her anesthesia. Um, Oh my gosh, we bathed her with flea shampoo, but clearly it didn't do a whole lot. So we are spraying her down with flea spray as well to try to get rid of all those. Ah! Die! Poor thing, this is why she's got, she's so anemic, because look at all these fleas everywhere. She's sucking the blood out of her. And then um, she's also full of hookworms, roundworms, and whipworms. So this is just really a case of a severe case of neglect. All these things are very easily treated and preventable. So it's just sad. So we have Sasha under anesthesia now. Um, she's doing great with an anesthesia. This is obviously the worst eye right here. I'm thinking, I honestly don't even know what happened, but it looks like she probably had an ulcer that got so deep that it perforated her eye and it ruptured and then it secondarily got infected. So that eye is hopeless and needs to go. It's just a source of um, infection and pain. This eye is now my focus because I definitely want to make sure that we can save this eye and that she can have some vision. So 
I'm going to use this little strip of paper and test her tearing and see if she possibly has um, decreased tear production because I definitely think that could be an option with her. Um, very common of these breeds like Shizus and Pekingese that they have what's called chronic dry eye and they don't make any tears and then their eyes get dry, they get an ulcer and then secondarily from that if they're not treated that ulcer gets infected and this is what happens. So we're timing it out for 60 seconds and we're going to see how much tears she produces. She produces zero tears so should be a lot higher than that. It's not even getting this little paper wet so she has no tear production. So most certainly that's what she has. She has this chronic condition that hasn't been treated, got an ulcer in the eye. Um, so now we're going to stain this eye and see if in fact she does have an ulcer. Um, oh, the fleas, we've given her stuff for fleas, we're waiting for it to kick in, but they just keep coming from nowhere. So we're going to stain this eye and see if she has an ulcer in it. Um, that way we know how to treat it, but for sure she's going to be on medication for this eye for the rest of her life. We have stained this eye and now we're just looking at it. It's really cloudy. I don't see any active ulcers going on right now. Just a lot of inflammation, probably infection on the surface of that eye. Um, probably had tons of ulcers in the past, but not an active one right now. So we're going to treat her eye with a medication that's going to help increase her tear production and lubricate the eye. Um, and then also some steroids and some antibi antibiotic eye ointments as well. Sasha is doing great. Um, it's been less than a week since her big surgeries. So remember she got a blood transfusion because she was anemic. Um, we spayed her. We removed this eye that was basically an abscess. And we've been treating her other eye and it's going really well. Um, also, she, we cleaned her teeth and she had several dental extractions um, because they were um, infected and abscessed as well. So she is super chipper now and loving life again. Are you a good girl? Mm -hmm. So she'll be up for adoption. She just wants to sit on someone's lap like this for the rest of her life. We just wanted to say thank you so much for watching um, our videos and you definitely gave little Sasha a second chance. Um, and. We want to say thanks to Bolt. This is my actual dog that gave her the life-saving transfusion. We did not really mention that at the time. We just kind of grabbed some blood from him. But he's a good boy, so we want to say thank you to Bolt too. Thanks, buddy. Um, so thanks again for watching our videos, and thank you um, for all your support and donations that helped us to save Sasha. Um, you remember she was just in horrible shape, so we're lucky she's we're lucky she's alive. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't want